Actually, we have been attending the LINK meeting for quite a number of years, but this is the first time we are actually exhibiting with an own booth. And LINK is an important platform for us because um, we can talk to uh, physicians from all over the world, we exchange thoughts and we discuss new trends for them. So it's ideal for us, especially it's only a three hours train ride from our location in Germany. Yeah. I founded Acandis in uh, 2006 and um, in, the, in the first years Acandis uh, focused on R&D and developing uh, technology platforms. Um, we started became visible on the market in 2011 when we launched our stent retriever called Aperio, uh, followed by the Aclino stent, which uh, was the first stent, laser cut stent, uh, to be uh, uh, introduced uh, through a 17th uh, microcatheter. In the past years, um, Acandis was looked at uh, primarily as a stent company. Um, but I'm very proud of my, what my team has achieved um, since meanwhile we carry a seven uh, product families for both ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. So this is a big improvement over time. So the highlight uh, for us for this show is our Derivo flow diverter device uh, which addresses both um, uh, visibility under fluoroscopy and stent uh, vessel wall opposition and torches anatomies. So the amount of uh, visibility uh, the device creates allows 3D angio pictures displaying um, simultaneously device and vessel anatomy at the same time. Um, and this is a, a, a big progress to previous devices. Uh, we are currently running a, a multi-center prospective um, uh, registry in Germany uh, to uh, prove the Derivo device uh, in, uh, in our country. Another uh, trial I would like to mention uh, is the assistant um, uh, intracranial standing registry which uh, we hope to enroll the first patients within the next weeks in Germany. Uh, despite the very uh, discouraging results we got from Sempres and from the visit study in the US, uh, we did developed a, a dedicated stand system for treatment of intracranial stenosis. Mm -hmm. And our, our Neurospeed uh, balloon uh, has been designed to um, gently dilate uh, stenosis and at the same time uh, it's carrying the credo stent to the stenotic lesions. And this is done in a one-stop uh, procedure. And we hope uh, that we will show that this uh, um, decreases complications and improves outcomes. Let's talk about unmet needs for a while. Um, uh, despite the latest uh, achievements uh, to improve um, stent reverse and um, aspiration catheters, um, we believe that acute ischemic stroke will remain a challenge. And we think that uh, neuroprotective methods in combination with endovascular treatments can play an important role uh, to improve uh, patients' outcome. And we are very enthusiastic about uh, developing a dedicated cooling system for the brain, uh, which uh, aims to uh, uh, cool down certain uh, regions uh, and preserving the tissue in the penumbra and decreasing reperfusion damage. And uh, we hope that we uh, can show in the future that this will be an important uh, step towards treating uh, acute ischemic stroke. In my opinion, our only chance to uh, sustainably grow our business, we have to focus on innovation. That's the only uh, weapon, the only mean we have as a small company. And besides that, it's a lot of fun. Thank you very much, and we look forward to speaking to you next year as well. Thank you.